Hello everyone, it's Brandy. Welcome. Today I am working on a brand new layout for Hip Kit Club using the May 2024 Hip Kit, the main kit only. This kit is gorgeous and it incorporates some really fun elements for those of us that like to read. And so I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to document one of my favorite books. I really loved this piece of pattern paper, so I wanted to feature it as a design element on my page. I want to fussy cut a pattern out of these diamonds, out of the diamond shape, but I am not going to be able to do that without marking off the squares that I do not want to cut. So I have to just kind of set my pattern out with some mint tape here so that I can make sure I don't accidentally make a mistake. The pieces that I marked with the mint tape are the pieces that I want to form my design and everything else is going to be cut away. So I'm just grabbing a straight edge and my knife and I'm just going to start fussy cutting these out. I have to admit that cutting around the edges would have been simpler with a pair of scissors and it would have probably gone faster and the only pieces that would actually need the knife for are the inside pieces that are going to form the holes inside the diamonds. But I'm not going to make you watch all of this. So what's up next is actually poking the holes in the center of the little flowers because I decided that I wanted to do some hand stitching only I am gonna add some little French knots inside the flowers. I love that look and French knots are so dainty and feminine looking and that's kind of how I feel that's the vibe that I'm getting from this piece of patterned paper so I thought it would be a nice little addition and, and some visual texture and also some physical texture too I think French knots are a perfect addition for those of us that feel as though maybe hand stitching on the page might be too complicated or, or require more effort than we're just willing to give. <laughs> and, but we really like the look of it. So this is a great way to add that to your page. French knots are super simple. You just come up through the back and then you wrap the thread around three times or maybe twice and you you poke the needle back down through the same hole and th there you have it I mean it's that simple it's it goes pretty quickly it didn't take long for me to complete this process at all and I think it adds so much to the visual texture of the page off camera, I went ahead and added some foam tape and I'm gluing it down and I played around with the orientation that I wanted this on the page. And ultimately I decided that putting it straight up and down like this or making it squares, I guess, instead of diamonds gave me, it left me more options for embellishing the page. I was a little perplexed about how I was going to add my photo to the layout. Ultimately, I decided that using these foam dots would work best because they are about the same height as the, as the French knots. Maybe they sit maybe a smidge lower but you can't really tell without getting in pretty close to the layout and looking at it so it it really worked out and they're very the adhesive on those are is extremely sticky I don't really have to worry about my photo coming undone off of this those four foam dots are going to work just fine to hold it down I was really excited to see this acrylic title piece come in this month's main kit. 
acrylic title pieces add an extra texture to the page that you're not getting anywhere else. And when you have more textures on the page, when they all work together, it is just very visually interesting. It gives your eye more places to land and more interesting things to see. And this piece, because the word things is hollow, it's casting some really cool shadows. And I love that about this piece in particular. I should add that I'm using Scotch Tacky Glue to adhere that to the page, and it is perfect. It worked wonderfully. The piece is not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, it's a little bit crooked, unfortunately. I Almost, I debated on not even pointing that out to you guys because it is kind of subtle, but it's pretty obvious to me. And I tried to move it, but it's not going anywhere. It's stuck. That's its permanent position. So I'm just going to have to make the best of it. Now I'm just embellishing. I'm adding mostly the, the um, fussy cut pieces from that patterned paper. I'm not really paying any attention to the any of the principles of design for this layout. I'm just, the, the rule of three, I've thrown it out the window and I'm just kind of just placing everything all around, trying to balance it visually with color and weight in the different, in the two different clusters. I wanted to make sure that I added some more of those adorable little acrylic flowers and I even add a, lead, a yellow acrylic butterfly in the top right hand corner too. I'm also going to bring in the yellow bow to the bottom right hand of the photo and off camera I'm going to back it with another piece of patterned paper. And that's it. That finishes up this layout. My first one with the exclusive Make It from Hip Kit Club. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see all of the wonderful layouts and designs from the design team every day that gets posted. And come join us on our Facebook page. We love to see your layouts also. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely crafty day. Bye-bye.